As you guys know, Lucasfilm dropped a massive, multiple bombshells yesterday. Probably the most amount of news they've ever dropped in a single kind of session. Now, you may know by now, they had a Disney Plus Investors Day yesterday, where they were describing some of the content they came out. And holy moly, as you can see here, they've dropped a lot. So let's get into the first thing they dropped. Um, and not in no specific order, I'm just going to talk about things that blew me away straight away. Ahsoka. Uh, anyone a fan of The Mandalorian probably would have guessed. I mean, you don't hire Rosario Dawson for a one and done. She has been signed to do an exclusive Ahsoka limited series on Disney+, Plus, which is amazing. With that, they've also announced a Rangers of the New Republic show which have both been developed by Dave Filoni and John Favreau, and will both be set in the current Mandalorian universe and culminate in a special event limited series at the end, a la Avengers or Defenders or something like that. So that's amazing. Look, Ahsoka, um, most people wouldn't have known of Ahsoka unless you watch the animated series, but she's become a fan favourite. Rosaria Darson knocked it out of the park, clearly, and it'll be really wonderful to see her with standalone series. Rangers on the New Republic, however, I think it'll be really about the New Republic X-Wing guys. If you've watched in The Mandalorian, they've had a couple of episodes where a couple of X-Wings kind of like good cop, bad cop, or buddy cops, or whatever you want to call them, uh, around the galaxy patrolling. So I think the show will probably be centred around that, not that we had any specific details. Let's move on to the next thing, which was pretty crazy. Finally, we're getting the Bad Batch. Now, if you watched the last season of The Clone Wars, Season 7, the first four episodes, I believe, were focused on a set of clones called the Bad Batch, some of the greatest episodes in that final season. And as they showed, we are now getting an animated, in the same style as Clone Wars by the looks of it, but with the ant-up graphics. Um, so that's wonderful as well, because those they created some well-defined characters from these clones in that uh, in those episodes that we saw. So I'm really excited by the Bad Batch as well. Some of the other things that come out, um, the girl who, her, her name has completely uh, missed my mind at the moment, but she created um, a Russian doll show on Netflix. That's a Leland, something like that. Forgive me, guys. But anyway, we've got a new show coming out called Acolyte. Now, we don't know much about it at this stage, but the details I have given us, it looks like it's a very female-centric story set in the time of the High Republic, which is something that they've really just started bringing into the universe. So that's wonderful as well, that we're going to get um, something that's a bit different than everything else. And we do know that it's really about uh, this female-centric led show discovering that the uh, rise of the dark side of the Force is starting to happen. So that'll be amazing too. Um, what else had come out in that show, that I, in that press conference, which really is mind-blowing? Probably the other thing is we got to see what the first film of um, the new Star Wars, when they start releasing films, will be. Now, and that was a real shock because we're getting Patty Jenkins directing Rogue Squadron. Um, which is this absolutely wonderful. Where anybody who's been a long-time Star Wars fan would know that Rogue Squadron's been around since novels, since the mid-90s, very successful video games. That will be huge. So um, I'm really excited to see what Paddy and Jenkins can do with that, which would be wonderful. The other thing they talked about was Taika with TT. Um, he's still developing his Star Wars movie. No details on the title or what it's even about. Kathleen Kennedy just came out and said it will be a very unique, different approach to Star Wars, which will be really, really exciting. Moving on to Lando. Now, this came out of nowhere as well. All we know is we're getting a limited series Lando. We don't know which Lando will it be. Will it be following Lando um, and that young lady from Rise of Skywalker who I've forgotten the name of too? Will it be about them finding her parents? Or will it be a younger Lando, a la Donald Glover? Um, 
We don't know yet. We have no idea which way this is going to go. I would suggest it will probably be more focused on the Donald Glover Lando, which would be really great to see. And that was a real shock and surprise. Very wonderful. But I think for Star Wars, especially prequels fans, hearing that not only are we getting Obi-Wan Kenobi limited series, which they start filming in a few weeks, Hayden Christensen returns as his role as Darth Vader. They were very specific to say Darth Vader. They didn't say Anakin Skywalker. They mentioned Darth Vader. So does that suggest that we're going to see Darth Vader without his helmet off? Uh, because what's the point of bringing back Hayden Christensen if you just got him in the suit the whole time? So there's going to be something there. And, and as uh, Kathleen Kennedy said, this is going to be the... Um, Battle of the Century. So are we going to get a, see another lightsaber duel between those two? I would suggest yes at this point, which is really wonderful as well. I feel like I'm missing something else to cover. There was so much to cover in this press conference. It was a, a droid story. We're going to get a CGI R2-D2 C-3PO centric with a new character called a droid story. I feel like what they're going to do there is harken back to the droids animated series of the 1980s and try to update that. The interesting thing about that was is they mentioned that it's going to be a co-production between Lucasfilm Animation and Lucasfilm um, ILM, sorry, for Industrial Light and Magic. So animation, they, they're doing their Clone Wars and the, the graphics are great. But now you're bringing ILM into the picture, they're, they're obviously planning on doing something special there. Now, if I've forgotten anything, guys, please let me know in the comments. I've just wanted to make this video to address what was happening in the world of Star Wars, and there seems so much to feast on. Um, oh, we're also Mandalorian Season 3, Christmas next year. We're going to wait a year by the looks of it. It's going to be a long bloody year. But in the sense of that, we've got some amazing content from Lucasfilm coming forward. Some of the other non-Star Wars Lucas films, they, uh, Lucas stuff they announced was Willow. Willow is ever getting a sequel series set 35 years later, starring um, a little guy gone blank. My memory's just toast this morning. I can't remember who he is. Either way, we're getting a Willow sequel series, which will be exciting. And they've announced they're finally starting production in spring of the last and final Indiana Jones movie. So Harrison Ford will be 80 years old when filming this. So who knows what they're going to do? I can't imagine seeing him getting dragged along a truck in this one. But who knows? Wonderful things coming from Lucasfilm. Keep watching the channel, guys. I'm pretty sure my colleague Rick is going to start to dump stuff about Marvel. Um, this is just purely Star Wars because Marvel's a whole nother hour conversation that needs to be had about the amazing things they're doing there. So well done, Lucasfilm. They've certainly picked themselves up and dusted themselves off after the Last Jedi Solo and Rise of Skywalker mixed reviews. It's great to see they've knocked it out of the park with The Mandalorian and they're putting things in place to take us through the next five years and some very exciting directions. All right, guys, we'll check you next time on the channel. Thanks for watching.